Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In the physics of electromagnetism, the Abraham Lorentz force, also known as the Lorentz Abraham force, is a reaction force on an accelerating charged particle caused by the particle emitting electromagnetic radiation by self interaction. It is also called the radiation reaction force, the radiation damping force, or the self force. It is named after the physicists Max, Abraham, and Hendrik Lorentz. The formula, although predating the theory of special relativity, was initially calculated for non-relativistic velocity approximations, was extended to arbitrary velocities by Max Abraham, and was shown to be physically consistent by George Adolphus Schott. The non-relativistic form is called Lorentz self-force, while the relativistic version is called the Lorentz Dirac force, or collectively known as Abraham Lorentz Dirac force. The equations are in the domain of classical physics, not quantum physics and therefore may not be valid at distances of roughly the Compton wavelength or below. There are, however, two analogs of the formula that are both fully quantum and relativistic. One is called the abraham lorentz dirac langevin equation. The other is the self-force on a moving mirror. The force is proportional to the square of the object's charge, multiplied by the jerk that it is experiencing. Jerk is the rate of change of acceleration. The force points in the direction of the jerk. For example, in a cyclotron, where the jerk points opposite to the velocity, the radiation reaction is directed opposite to the velocity of the particle, providing a braking action. The Abraham Lorentz force is the source of the radiation resistance of a radio antenna radiating radio waves. There are pathological solutions of the Abraham Lorentz Dirac equation in which a particle accelerates in advance of the application of a force, so-called pre-acceleration solutions, since this would represent an effect occurring before its cause, retrocausality. Some theories have speculated that the equation allows signals to travel backward in time, thus challenging the physical principle of causality. One resolution of this problem was discussed by Arthur D. Yajian and was further discussed by Fritz Rohrlich and Rodrigo Medina. Furthermore, some authors argue that a radiation reaction force is unnecessary, introducing a corresponding stress-energy tensor that naturally conserves energy and momentum in Minkowski space and other suitable spacetimes. Definition and description The Lorentz self-force derived from non-relativistic velocity approximation V much less than C is given in SI units by F are AD equals mu zero q two six pi c a equals q two six pi epsilon zero c three a equals two three q two four pi epsilon zero c three a or in gaussian units by f r a d equals two three q two c three a where f r a d is the force a is the derivative of acceleration or the third derivative of displacement also called jerk mu zero is the magnetic constant epsilon zero is the electric constant c is the speed of light in free space and Q is the electric charge of the particle. Physically, an accelerating charge emits radiation, according to the Larmor formula, which carries momentum away from the charge. Since momentum is conserved, the charge is pushed in the direction opposite the direction of the emitted radiation. In fact, the formula above for radiation force can be derived from the Larmor formula, as shown below. The Abraham Lorentz force, a generalization of Lorentz self-force for arbitrary velocities, is given by F R A D equals mu zero q two six pi c gamma two a plus gamma four v via c two plus three gamma four a v a c two plus three gamma six v v a two c four, where gamma is the Lorentz factor associated with v, the velocity of particle. The formula is consistent with special relativity and reduces to Lorentz's self-force expression for low velocity limit. The covariant form of radiation reaction deduced by Dirac for arbitrary shape of elementary charges is found to be F mu R A D equals mu zero Q two six pi M C D. Two P mu D tau two minus P mu M two C two. D P nu D tau D P nu D tau. History The first calculation of electromagnetic radiation energy due to current was given by George Francis Fitzgerald in 1883, in which radiation resistance appears. However, dipole antenna experiments by Heinrich Hertz made a bigger impact and gathered commentary by Poincaré on the amortizement or damping of the oscillator due to the emission of radiation. 
Qualitative discussion surrounding damping effects of radiation emitted by accelerating charges was sparked by Henry Poincaré in 1891. In 1892, Hendrik Lorentz derived the self-interaction force of charges for low velocities, but did not relate it to radiation losses. Suggestion of A. Relationship between radiation energy loss and self-force was first made by Max Planck. Planck's concept of the damping force, which did not assume any particular shape for elementary charged particles, was applied by Max Abraham to find the radiation resistance of an antenna in 1898, which remains the most practical application of the phenomenon. In the early 1900s, Abraham formulated a generalization of the Lorentz self-force to arbitrary velocities, the physical consistency of which was later shown by George Adolphus Schott. Schott was able to derive the Abraham equation and attributed acceleration energy to be the source of energy of the electromagnetic radiation. Originally submitted as an essay for the 1908 Adams Prize, he won the competition and had the essay published as a book in 1912. The relationship between self-force and radiation reaction became well-established at this point. Wolfgang Pauli first obtained the covariant form of the radiation reaction, and in 1938, Paul Dirac found that the equation of motion of charged particles, without assuming the shape of the particle, contained Abraham's formula within reasonable approximations. The equations derived by Dirac are considered exact within the limits of classical theory. Background in classical electrodynamics, problems are typically divided into two classes. Problems in which the charge and current sources of fields are specified and the fields are calculated, and the reverse situation problems, in which the fields are specified and the motion of particles are calculated. In some fields of physics, such as plasma physics and the calculation of transport coefficients, conductivity, diffusivity, etc., the fields generated by the sources and the motion of the sources are solved self-consistently. In such cases, however, the motion of a selected source is calculated in response to fields generated by all other sources. Rarely is the motion of a particle source due to the fields generated by that same particle calculated. The reason for this is twofold. Neglect of the self-fields usually leads to answers that are accurate enough for many applications, an inclusion of self-fields leads to problems in physics such as renormalization, some of which are still unsolved, that relate to the very nature of matter and energy. These conceptual problems created by self-fields are highlighted in a standard graduate text. Jackson, the difficulties presented by this problem touch one of the most fundamental aspects of physics, the nature of the elementary particle. Although partial solutions, workable within limited areas, can be given, the basic problem remains unsolved. One might hope that the transition from classical to quantum mechanical treatments would remove the difficulties. While there is still hope that this may eventually occur, the present quantum mechanical discussions are beset with even more elaborate troubles than the classical ones. It is one of the triumphs of comparatively recent years, 1948 to 1950 that the concepts of Lorentz covariance and gauge invariance were exploited sufficiently cleverly to circumvent these difficulties in quantum electrodynamics and so allow the calculation of very small radiative effects to extremely high precision in full agreement with experiment. From a fundamental point of view, however, the difficulties remain. The abraham lorentz force is the result of the most fundamental calculation of the effect of self-generated fields. It arises from the observation that accelerating charges emit radiation. The abraham lorentz force is the average force that an accelerating charged particle feels in the recoil from the emission of radiation. The introduction of quantum effects leads one to quantum. Electrodynamics. The cell fields in quantum electrodynamics generate a finite number of infinities in the calculations that can be removed by the process of renormalization. This has led to a theory that is able to make the most accurate predictions that humans have made to date. See precision tests of QED. The renormalization process fails, however, when applied to the gravitational force. The infinities in that case are infinite in number, which causes the failure of renormalization. Therefore, general relativity has an unsolved self-field problem. String theory and loop quantum gravity are current attempts to resolve this problem formally called the problem of radiation reaction or the problem of self-force. 
Derivation, the simplest derivation for. The self-force is found for periodic motion from the Larmor formula for the power radiated from a point charge that moves with velocity much lower than that of speed of light. P equals mu zero Q26 pi CA2. If we assume the motion of a charged particle is periodic, then the average work done on the particle by the Abraham. Lorentz force is the negative of the Larmor power integrated over one period from tau 1 to tau 2. Integral tau 1 tau 2 F R A D V D T equals integral tau 1 tau 2 minus P D T equals minus integral tau 1 tau 2 mu 0 Q 2 6 pi. C 2 D T equals minus integral tau 1 tau 2 mu 0 Q 2 6. Pi C D V D T D V D T D T. The above expression can be integrated by parts. If we assume that there is periodic motion, the boundary term in the integral by parts disappears. Integral tau 1 tau 2 f r a d v d t equals minus mu 0 q 2 6 pi c d v d t v tau 1 tau 2 plus integral tau 1 tau 2 mu 0 q 2 6 pi c d 2 v d t 2 v d t equals minus 0 plus integral tau 1 tau 2 mu 0 q 2 6 pi c a v d t. Clearly, we can identify the Lorentz self force equation, which is applicable to slow moving particles, as FRAD equals mu zero Q26 pi CA. A more rigorous derivation, which does not require periodic motion, was found using an effective field theory formulation. A generalized equation for arbitrary velocities was formulated by Max Abraham, which is found to be consistent with special relativity. An alternative derivation, Making use of theory of relativity, which was well established at that time, was found by Dirac without any assumption of the shape of the charged particle. Signals from the future below is an illustration of how a classical analysis can lead to surprising results. The classical theory can be seen to challenge standard pictures of causality, thus signaling either a breakdown or a need for extension of the theory. In this case, the extension is to quantum mechanics and its relativistic counterpart quantum field theory. See the quote from Rorlich in the introduction concerning the importance of obeying the validity limits of a physical theory. For a particle in an external force F E X T, we have M V equals F R. A D plus F X T égale M T zero V plus F X T. Where T mi ven mi mi ven Q V O X I P M C. This equation can be integrated once to obtain M V equals one T zero integral T infinity E X P. Minus t minus t t zero, f e x t t d t. The integral extends from the present to infinitely far in the future. Thus, future values of the force affect the acceleration of the particle in the present. The future values are weighted by the factor e x p minus t minus t t zero, which falls off rapidly for times greater than t zero in the future. Therefore, signals from an interval approximately t0 into the future affect the acceleration in the present. For an electron, this time is approximately 10 minus 24 SEC, which is the time it takes for a light wave to travel across the size of an electron, the classical electron radius. One way to define this size is as follows. It is up to some constant factor. The distance are such that two electrons placed at rest at a distance are apart and allowed to fly apart, would have sufficient energy to reach half the speed of light. In other words, it forms the length, or time, or energy, scale where something as light as an electron would be fully relativistic. It is worth noting that this expression does not involve the Planck constant at all. So although it indicates something is wrong at this length scale, it does not directly relate to quantum uncertainty or to the frequency energy relation of a photon. Although it is common in quantum mechanics to treat zero as a classical limit, some speculate that even the classical theory needs renormalization, no matter how the Planck constant would be fixed. Abraham, Lorentz, Dirac forced to find the relativistic generalization. Dirac renormalized the mass in the equation of motion with the Abraham, Lorentz force in 1938. This renormalized equation of motion is called the Abraham Lorentz Dirac equation of motion. Definition the expression derived by Dirac is given in signature, minus plus plus plus, by f mu or ad equals mu zero q2 six pi mc. d2 p mu d tau two minus p mu m2 c2. dp nu d tau dp nu d tau. With Leonard's relativistic generalization of Larmor's formula in the co moving frame, 
P equals mu zero Q two, a two gamma six six pi C. One can show this to be a valid force by manipulating the time average equation for power. One delta T integral zero T P D T equals one delta T integral zero T F V D T. Paradox is pre-acceleration similar to the non-relativistic case. There are pathological solutions using the Abraham, Lorentz, Dirac equation that anticipate a change in the external force and according to which the particle accelerates in advance of the application of a force, so-called pre-acceleration solutions. One resolution of this problem was discussed by Yajian and is further discussed by Rorlich and Medina. Runaway solutions Runaway solutions are solutions to ALD equations that suggest the force on. Objects will increase exponential over time. It is considered as an unphysical solution. Hyperbolic motion, the ALD equations, are known to be zero for constant acceleration or hyperbolic motion in Minkowski space-time diagram. The subject of whether in such condition electromagnetic radiation exists was matter of debate until Fritz Rohrlich resolved the problem by showing that hyperbolically moving charges do emit radiation. Subsequently, the issue is discussed in context of energy conservation and equivalence principle, which is classically resolved by considering acceleration energy or shot energy. Self-interactions, however, the anti-damping mechanism resulting from the Abraham, Lorentz force, can be compensated by. Other nonlinear terms, which are frequently disregarded in the expansions of the retarded Leonard Weicher potential. Landau Lifshitz radiation damping force the Abraham Lorentz Dirac force leads to some pathological solutions. In order to avoid this, Lev Landau and Yevgeny Lifshitz came with the following formula for radiation damping force, which is valid when the radiation damping force is small compared with the Lorentz force in some frame of reference, assuming it exists. GI equals 2 E3 3 M C3 del F I K del X L minus E M C2 F I L F K L U K minus F K L U L F K M U M U I. So that the equation of motion of the charge E in an external field F I K can be written as M C D U I D S equals E C F I K U K plus GI. Here U I equals gamma, gamma V slash C is the four velocity of the particle, gamma equals one slash one minus V2 slash C2 is the Lorentz factor, and V is the three-dimensional velocity vector. The three-dimensional Landau, Lifshitz radiation damping force can be written as F, R A D equals two E3 gamma three M C3 T plus one C V times D H D T plus two E4 three M two C4, E times H plus one C H times, H times V, plus one C E V E minus 2e4 gamma 2v3m 2c5, e plus 1cv times h, 2 minus 1c2, ev, 2, where d slash dt equals del, slash del, t plus v nabla, is the total. Derivative, experimental observations while the Abraham, Lorentz force, is largely neglected for many experimental considerations. It gains importance for plasmonic excitations in larger nanoparticles due to large local field enhancements. Radiation damping acts as a limiting factor for the plasmonic excitations in surface-enhanced Raman scattering. The damping force was shown to broaden surface plasmon resonances in gold nanoparticles, nanorods, and clusters. The effects of radiation damping on nuclear magnetic resonance were also observed by Nicholas Bloombergen and Robert Pound, who reported its dominance over spin, spin, and spin lattice relaxation mechanisms for certain cases. The Abraham Lorentz force has been observed in the semi classical regime in experiments which involve the scattering of a relativistic beam of electrons with a high intensity laser. In the experiments, a supersonic jet of helium gas is intercepted by a high intensity 1018 to 1020 W slash CM2 laser. The laser ionizes the helium gas and accelerates the electrons via what is known as the laser wake field effect. A second high-intensity laser beam is then propagated counter to this accelerated electron beam. In a small number of cases, inverse Compton scattering occurs between the photons and the electron beam, and the spectra of the scattered electrons and photons are measured. The photon spectra are then compared with spectra calculated from Monte Carlo simulations that use either the QED or classical LL equations of motion. 
Collective effects, the effects of radiation reaction, are often considered within the framework of single particle dynamics. However, interesting phenomena arise when a collection of charged particles is subjected to strong electromagnetic fields, such as in a plasma. In such scenarios, the collective behavior of the plasma can significantly modify its properties due to radiation reaction effects. Theoretical studies have shown that in environments with strong magnetic fields, like those found around pulsars and magnetars, radiation reaction cooling can alter the collective dynamics of the plasma. This modification can lead to instabilities within the plasma, specifically in the high. Magnetic fields typical of these astrophysical objects, the momentum distribution of particles is bunched and becomes anisotropic due to radiation reaction forces, potentially driving plasma instabilities and affecting overall plasma behavior. Among these instabilities, the firehose instability can arise due to the anisotropic pressure.